Pedal all the way in. Just saw the. Whoa. Spice the world. My favorite bike park in the world is going to have to be the Whistler Bike Park. Well, at least out of the parks I have ridden. There's a lot out there that I have not ridden yet. But obviously, Whistler is world famous for a reason. And today is a great example of why Whistler is the sickest bike park in the world. I'm going to show you some of my favorite trails out here. Big jumps, gnarly sends. I'm also going to revisit a really sick line I did a year ago and see if I can do it by myself this time. Plus, the dirt is riding perfect today. Man, it's so freaking busy. Everyone had the same idea. But then that's the downside to having the most popular bike park is that it's really busy. So then the lineups are way too long, especially on a nice September weekend like this, when the rain has finally come after a really long and dry summer. Everyone wants to get that hero dirt. I'm out here riding with my bro, Wesley. There's a few new jumps and trails to check out as well. All right, we're gonna do some good old warm up on A-Line here. First round of the day, the lineups are just way too long. I think it was like a 45 minute lineup for sure. So we all know A-Line, of course it's a classic out here. And I think at this point you guys have seen enough A-Line, so I don't really need to show this off in my video. Plus, even though I may enjoy it a lot, I can't ride the same trails over and over again. I love the variety that the Whistler Bike Park has to offer. A healthy dose of tech and jumps is a recipe for a great day out here. Lineup's dying down a bit. This is why the lineup is uh, shorter down below. Everyone has the same idea again, to enjoy the upper part of the mountain. Here with Wes, going up Garbanzo Lift. How long has it been since we rode together, Wes? It's been uh, a while. Yeah, first time at Whistler this year. No, for sure, yeah, because your wrist was broken and now it's healing. It's, uh, let's show them the scar. Yeah, that's... you got uh, lots of screws and a metal plate in there, so that sucks. Holding it together, though. Yeah, we want to ride a few sweet trails. We want to ride D1. Gonna send Dirt Merchant, of course. Right now we're gonna do Blue Velvet, but uh, I'm gonna try and clear that bridge because I haven't done that in years, so that'll be sick. Yeah, yeah it'd be nice I to maybe like ride some more technical stuff as well, like Technor. <clears throat> right. Even Original Sin. Yeah, Original we'll Sin. We'll just see what kind of time we have. Yes, bike park closed at five, it's now one o'clock, so let's, uh, let's send it. Oh, the conditions are so good. It just rained yesterday a bunch. It's uh, mid-September. This is so beautiful. I would argue September is the best month to visit the Whistler Bike Park. Either that or maybe June before everything gets too dry like it does in July and August. But not everything is always open in June though. That's the thing. I think that looks good. There's good uh, room to pedal before it too and launch for it. Is it full? I think it's like really fast, right? You have to go really fast. Yeah. You like you're you're gonna want to pedal. Yeah. Like I'll I'll give a couple pedals. You don't want to case it. There we go. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Just pedal all the way in. Yes. Right on. It wasn't even like too bad to be honest. How was it? I think I just tapped my rear tire slightly. Oh, okay. I just didn't pull hard enough. Okay, this jump I remember is kind of fun. Woo! Ha! Huh. Yeah, Blue Valley, you can tell it gets a lot of traffic. Just saw the... Whoa! Breaking bumps and stuff. It's a pretty sick wall ride. Okay, we've got a... Spice a little... Yo! <laughs> sick! What was that? <laughs> Did you know about that? Yeah, I did it uh, on my Boost Monster uh, at Craig Rinks. That was bigger than I thought, because when I saw you go off, I was like... Oh, I, I was almost going to case it. I was like, oh, I should have gone a little faster. It's a bit of a flattish landing. Go up the rock face. Oh, that was weird. Ooh. I'm feeling warmed up. So the idea is, after warming up on A-Line and then Blue Velvet, I'm going to feel good for riding my favorite jump trail in the whole bike park. Haha. <laughs> 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 
Man, my asshole's blew off on some of those bumps. Man, that was good though. I uh, dirt merch, dirty merch. Oh yeah, following Wesley. Wesley's doing super good on the flow. Oh man, this is such a sick trail. My favorite jump trail out here for sure. <laughs> I told you my boost monster was like quite good on this trail. Really? Even on the 24 inch wheels, it was like I was clearing everything. How was it on the hip? Uh, pretty good. Not the greatest, but yeah. it worked. Ah, oh, that wasn't that great. Nice, that was fun. Oh yeah. So we know that Whistler has some of the greatest jump trails in the world. They're always so much fun. You can never go wrong with those. Sick. That was sick. But even some of the blue single track, like Samurai Pizza Cat here, for example, it's just really fast and fun. I really enjoy single track, and I like to see more of that in bike parks. But what about the tech? Like some double black gnar? Starts off with a skinny. <laughs> I love it. Using a skinny as a squirrel catcher is honestly not something I was expecting to see at the Whistler Bike Park. It's a very welcome change, because honestly, that's the one thing I find is really lacking out here is the fun skinny wood features. Oh, frick. Okay, maybe it's a sketch because it's wetter. Forgot about that. Wet roots are not very fun. I hope Wesley's not having too bad of a time. Oof. Crap. I don't think Wesley's enjoying this. The tech trails were the hardest on Wesley's wrist, but the flow trails were no problem for him. Dude, I kind of realized like maybe that was like the worst trail for you. Yeah, I just had to look at the rock face quickly, but there's one like steep tech. Do a sharp corner I didn't see. <laughs> Almost went over the edge, but I saved it. Yeah, some of the roots are sketch. It felt nice to be able to, that's the most technical thing I've done since I broke my rest. Right on. <laughs> it was pretty solid. Right on. Dual slalom. No pedaling. Yeah. Okay, sure, yeah, we can do that. So just about pumping then. A pump track, we probably start here. pump challenge, get it? Ready, set, go. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Come on, let's pump. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, <laughs> oh, you totally got me there. Are you just gonna send them or what? I'm good with that. Canadian Open is one of the sickest ways of finishing the run. A-Line is also a solid option, but this lower part of Canadian Open finally opened up just recently for the first time this year. Whoa, <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, cool. That's sick. Hmm, so pretty long lines. One of the downsides to having such a popular bike park is a lot of wear and tear on the trails, particularly these braking bumps. It's like a washboard of dirt and it feels terrible. Doesn't matter how good your bike is, it's just gonna feel like crap on these washboards. Okay, there's some bad braking bumps there. And yeah, as the name suggests, they do form because of people breaking. Kind of an interesting process how that works. But then you contrast the man-made washboards with natural tech with all the roots and rocks on a trail like Original Sin. And all of a sudden, that natural rough terrain is actually a lot of fun. This is so fast. So, <laughs> got some holes in there. Ah, oh, frick. Still cased it. Man, that jump is hard. I did not expect you to go that fast. 
Yeah. Man, I tried that gap. I still cased it right there into the open. I did too. I still can't do it. It's so tricky. Yeah, right off the beginning, I like tried to follow with your exact speed and I buckled. <laughs> yeah. I really enjoy riding all these rock slabs. And just after original sin here in this big open area, we've got a real doozy. do this line you gotta go so last year in a video I was riding with Max and Ryan and they're showing me some sweet lines including this part where you go up the rock I really want to try it again but this time without following anyone into it yeah it would be cool to try but um you kind of want to be wide like you want to be just on the inside of this side straight at that <laughs> yeah yeah so that's it right there yeah that's gnarly far up yeah it's not even that obvious I would like to try but then I would want someone to film me on it Speaking of Max, there he is. Looks like he's just sending it, so I won't be able yeah. to follow behind him today. That's sick. Oh, that's a different line. I love that. Cool. And we just found out recently that he won the Pink Bike Academy. That's pretty cool. Congratulations to Max. You going for it? Yeah. Um, you want to go wide, like you want to be like here, and then just on the inside of the sign. Ready? I didn't quite make it. Ah, it sucks. That was sketchy. It was sketchy. I didn't I didn't like that. Man, that's funny. I did it the best the very first time. Well, Shoot. All right. But I was pedaling the whole time. I was not in my hardest gear. I think that's the problem. It have to be my hardest gear and actually like working it and I wasn't and then I thought oh it's good enough but no okay this time I'm gonna try from the road here I don't want to get squirrely after the uh Marty Master drop thing and I'm gonna go in my very hardest gear and book it Winston was your name right Winston right on uh is your chain coming off it's super loose that doesn't make any sense yeah what's going on for some reason, Winston's bike doesn't want to shift into its hardest gear. Yeah, my bike doesn't like the lowest gear. Hmm, that's weird. Which basically means he won't be able to climb up this rock, unless he's able to fix it. Okay, well, first of all, your your cable's like going into the chain there. That's probably why. That's pretty messed. Yeah. Okay, Wesley's saying it's good. I might just go for it. It's good. Okay, hardest gear. Okay, that was better. Still didn't quite get enough speed to go all the way to the top, but like, that was my best run. Try a different roll here. Oh, that's super cool. All right. <laughs> that was a pretty cool roll. It's pretty ballsy with that the cross. was the crosswind. You had wind coming towards you, and that was the lightest it was. There was a little break in the wind. Yeah, yeah. It was sketch, but like I was cooking, cooking, and it's so rough coming into it. Sure. I have to do it behind <laughs> Max and Ryan because we're gonna make our way to D1. D1 is also one of the sickest jump trails out here. A short yeah. but sweet one for sure. D1, yeah, yeah. Hit it behind Wesley here. Nice. Throwing really good. Oh, that was the case. 
<laughs> Yo. Oh, it's sick. So we're just about at the end of the day. We're not even sure if we can get another run after this. Now we wanted to ride Crabapple Hits, though it did seem a bit windy, so we ended up opting for something else. We're checking out some new jumps. This one's called Cat's, Cat's Meow. Got some sick new jumps. Whoa, right here we go. Uh, let's see, they look pretty minty, fresh. I'm gonna go first. All right. Let's look at this stuff. Looks pretty cool. Woo! Oh, okay. Yeah, I bottomed out. Look at this, this is sick. Oh, so good, I love it. Yeah, I, I took it super easy, but those are fun. I like overshoot the, sh the first drop. I landed, I like bottomed out. Or the first jump, I mean. The stimulator, it's called. Okay, okay. Into Dwayne Johnson. Yes, perfect, dude. Felt so good. Yeah, it was good. Ooh, Tech Noir is a fun one. I don't know if you want to try that tech. Let's get it in there. All right. Yo. Oh, going a little right. <laughs> right on. Maybe we can try a rematch of the uh, the pump track challenge. No pedaling. Okay, I didn't have the greatest start there. But... Shoot, yeah, I wasn't doing good on the corners. But then I was I was doing terrible in the corners. Undefeated, you know? Whoa. Heck yeah, man. Okay, Canadian Open is so sick. Whoa! Total bottom out there. Nice. Oh, is that the last people? You're saying you're still gonna do sweeps? I'll do sweeps, but it won't be until we finish these. Oh, yeah. So it will be about five o'clock normally, but it's gonna be a bit late. Well, it looks like that was the last run of the day for us, unless we can grab a sweep lap, which turns out we actually were able to get one. And it was definitely one of the better sweep laps, in my opinion, if you like double black tech. That was a super fun, uh, fun run, dude. It was so good. So good. Well, if you want to see that really fun ride, I put that on my second channel called Jordan Boostmaster Raw. Make sure you go check that one out. Before the end of the season, I did go to Whistler just once more. I took my Boost Monster out because I wanted to test out some changes. And the bike is running better than ever. Can't wait to finish editing that video. Make sure you give a like, make a comment on this video, tell me what you think, and subscribe for more awesome content coming your way. Thanks everyone, and I will see you guys next time.